friends, my name is Alex and I'm from Education Galaxy. Today we will explore how to interpret data. And for today's adventure, we're traveling to Mathtopia Soccer Fields with Coach Daisy. Oh, hey everyone, I'm Coach Daisy and I'm going to explore interpreting data with you. This skill involves looking at bar graphs and pictographs and answering questions using them. Let's look at some examples and practice some questions. Let's check out this bar graph. Look at the title. It says the number of goals scored. Each bar represents a different player on the soccer team and the numbers on the left represent the scale for the number of goals each player has scored. Now, this question wants to know how many points did Mia and Brooklyn score combined? Well, we can see Mia scored three points and Brooklyn scored eight points. To find the total, we need to add the two numbers. Three plus eight equals 11. So they scored a total of 11 points. Go team! Now let's look at a pictogram. The pictogram describes our soccer games. It has the number of wins, number of losses, and the number of ties. Now, the most important part of pictograms is the scale. Our scale says each soccer ball represents two. So when we count, we have to count by twos. The question asks how many more wins than losses did the team have? So let's count the wins. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Now let's count the losses. Two, four, six, eight. So to calculate how many more, we need to subtract. 14 minus eight. That equals six. So we won six more games than we lost. All right. Way to go. We learned how to interpret bar graphs and pictographs. Now you're ready for some problems of your own. Good luck. And there you have it. You've mastered interpreting data. Congratulations. See you next time.